whenever I do these screenshots, forgive me because it's kind of like I notice that sometimes the whole screenshot doesn't show up as I do the video. But if the screenshot is showing correctly, I really do like this exchange right here. And uh, give me just a second to make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am recording. I didn't hit the pause button by mistake, so I won't be sitting here <laughs> talking to myself. Okay. Look, let's read this. This is, a, and I'm going to tell you what they're doing. Um, now, it could have been that maybe just maybe Ivory, or better yet, Ivy, jumped into this conversation, but I'm going to look a little bit deeper. And it sounds like to me they're arguing over black dudes and attractiveness and social worth. And what the girl up top, April Carafa, says is this. We are not, notice not in all capital letters, jealous of you. And that's if you're seeing it. If 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 you're not reading it and if you can't see it because the screenshot didn't come through, what the girl April says up top is this right here. Um, you're probably seeing most of what she said, but in case you didn't see it all, this is what the white woman up top said are either the white passing mulatto. <clears throat> um, we are not, in all capital letters, jealous of you. Y'all are rated least attractive physically as well as personality-wise. 75% <clears throat> single motherhood, culturally violence toward none of, one another. Nah, you can be mad, but statistics don't lie. Y'all walk around mad at the world, and it's for a reason. Look inward. We aren't jealous of you. Cope harder. Evie says, y'all age like milk. So y'all's opinions don't matter. If only you spend this much time thinking about how y'all can make peace with the sun. Now, there's a reason why I titled this video what I titled it. And I know that I could easily get accusations of being somebody that identifies with um, racial thinking, you know, because this right here is two absolute and completely different brains and minds. It really is. And let me explain it to you. Now, I'm going to say it like this. This white girl, April Jaffa, whatever, Carafa. She's hitting, in my view, on all 18 cylinders, okay? She's making the point, the reason why she put not jealous in all capital letters, I, I hope you can see it up top, because she wrote in all capital letters, we are not jealous of you, and what she's saying is that you're coping. Like, all the, all the stuff that she commits to say after that she said, or let um, Evie know that she's not jealous of her. These are actually socially relevant things that affect me, you, Evie, and even this white woman who told it to her on a daily basis. She could be robbed, killed, murdered, or uh, graped by one of Evie's violent children out here, or from a child that came from a woman that looks like Evie. Black, young black youth and a lot of older ones are out here committing crime like a mother, you know. Um, she also talks about them being least attractive. I'm not going to get into that, but it is what it is. She also denotes, and this is the most important thing uh, that the girl April said toward her, culturally violent toward one another. Again, that's why she put not jealous in all capital letters. Who would be jealous of that? And with what she's telling you, look at what Evie fires back and says. She did this cope thing. Look, Evie is mentally defeated in this right here. If if they was in if you could transfer in a mental allegorical sense of thinking this exchange and make it into a fight, you know, a physical fight, Evie is backed into the corner, she's on her butt. And she got her left hand over her face and she's desperately trying to swing with her right hand. You just got knocked the fuck down and you damn near knocked the fuck out. And all that stuff about the sun. Get the fuck out of here. What?
white folks ain't worried about no sun, man. They ain't worried about that. That is some, that is some old black Negro shit that black people try to sit up there and say because they think, <laughs> and it's really sad because I'm going to tell you what it comes from. It comes from a defeated mental mindset that says we can't do nothing about the physical people who claim themselves to be white. So we have to wait on some natural cosmic solar event to occur or for them to, I don't know, maybe sit out in the sun long enough as if they're not cold ass countries where the sun doesn't really shine too much. I mean, do you think that 140 million Russians who pretty much got Brittany Griner in a state of torture, do you think they give a fuck about a sun? As a matter of fact, the sun melting is going to make nations like Russia richer because now they don't have to drill through all that ice to get the oil. White people ain't worried about no sun. And I don't want to get too veered off, but that is just so weak and pathetic. And the thing about it is that if you go to this channel, to the community tabs or whatever, where you can find this thread at, Right now, there are literally over a thousand people commenting. And it ain't nothing but that. Yeah, you go, girl. Yeah, you go, girl. You you told her, girl. Mm-hmm, girl. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you what this really is before I shut this video down, which I'm finna do. This is really a upper caste woman slapping down a little black peasant woman. And what Evie is saying is that she's actually hurt because she's she tried to say that she typically doesn't respond to this type of stuff. Well, I'm going to tell it to you like this right here. She typically most of the time she typically wouldn't respond because the typical person saying all this stuff would probably be a black male. So she's already got you under a naturalistic niggas ain't shit social uh, standing. So it doesn't matter that you said it. You could find many of people saying this, but there's a very specific reason why she responded, because she's starting to hear it from, uh, you know, the white women, the upper ca uh, caste women. And it bothers her because slowly, um, I don't think that they're ever going to totally break, because when it comes down to it, black women are just reliant upon white women. But little by little, these white women are are getting to the point to where they don't really care because they read through and see with the advent of the Internet a whole bunch of shit. And you just can't deny it, you know, including uh, some situations where white women get jumped and black women are entitled to, you know, cast forth all her problems and issues and uh, blame some of everybody, you know, and sometimes white women get that blame, too. And white women get that heat and get that smoke. And a lot of them are tired of it and kind of telling them, hey, put your big girl panties on and uh, stop beating the shit out of each other. Stop beating your children. Stop having babies out of wedlock and stop sitting up there deluding yourself into believing that somebody is jealous of all of that shit. Like, are you crazy? What is your response? Um, It's hot outside. You might need to go inside. And if the white girl would dip a little bit deeper into culture black culture she she could clap back at her and say what so so i don't get black like like you tell your children i'm sitting up here trying to intellectually engage with you and you screaming about the sun and my color black brain versus white brain straight up in your face emotions versus rationale i'm out